David McKay. <laughs> Hi, Gary. It's good to see you. Hi. Uh, um, you know, we get used to being able to deal with um, fairly straightforward things very quickly, but it's the, the ones that you couldn't really help that at least haunt me. Uh huh. And um, I'm thinking now of, of a particular case, but there are various. Um, a person with obsessive compulsive disorder. Uh huh. Um, where there's probably brain chemistry and things going on. How much can we help them, or, or how can we help them? How much time do I have, Gwyneth? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have. 15 minutes to answer another six questions. <laughs> well, okay, let me, let me address OCD if I can. I have had some occasions, some sessions with OCD where a session, two, three, sometimes less than a session, poof, gone. Okay. Dealt with one 12 year old boy who had to spin around several times before he could walk upstairs. That was a, an OCD thing. Uh, I think two sessions. History, no problem whatsoever. I've dealt with other people where I went nowhere with it. I mean, absolutely nowhere. And I don't know if there's brain chemistry or something like that. Maybe there is. My own take on that was I have not yet gotten down to the real core issues because they're not letting me in. Okay? That's my my real take on it. And so that's more skill on my part, more rapport on my part, more question answering on my part to get down to that is. Now, uh, one other quick thing on the brain chemistry thing. The same argument often applies from the medical profession, at least from my discussions with them, for depression. Depression to them seems to be a general term, chemical imbalance of some kind. So therefore, we take Prozac or some kind of pill to out to overcome the chemical imbalance, etc. Okay. To me, I have to ask this question about the depression as well as OCD from a brain chemistry point of view. What causes the brain chemistry? To me, the brain chemistry is a symptom of the problem. It's at a deeper level than the depression or the OCD. But it's still a symptom. I want to know what causes that. And the EFT approach is, ah, there must be some energetic or emotional driver behind that. Let's get down to that. Okay, so that's where I would come from on that. 